Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, guess what is just around the corner? <laughs> it's my favorite holiday it of is. the whole year. <laughs> it's not even really a, it is a holiday. It is a holiday. Americans it's, celebrate it more than anybody. Exactly. It's, more than them. <laughs> there's a good reason. It's Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what day of the month is Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be giving you some awesome Cinco de Mayo of uh, Mexican yeah. Tex-Mex recipes totally. over the next week or so. Because and this we, is one of my all-time faves. It's so good. It's so good. This is our classic, classic nachos. nachos. Oh, they these, use our nachos. <laughs> yes. <yeah, laughs> if someone takes one of your nachos, say, hey, that's nachos. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, so these are based off. So we, uh, there's a restaurant in Fort Worth, Texas. I was born in Fort Worth. We now live in Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And there is an institution of a restaurant called Joe T. Garcia's. And it is an just incredible. a great experience. It's outdoors for the most part. Yes. Yeah. It's just fountain, delicious. in a pool that's just so wonderful. If you if you live in the northern hemisphere, you've probably heard of it. Yeah. Anyway, it's <laughs> it's very popular. And so they do and one of the, and they only have you can either get an enchilada dinner, which is awesome, which is what I always get, or, or you can fajitas. get fajitas. And with your enchilada dinner, they start you off with these nachos, and they're the best nachos in the world. Everybody so, gets mad at everybody because if they don't get their number of nachos that they're supposed to get, yeah. everybody gets mad at each other. That's when people start saying, hey, those are nachos. <laughs> okay, so they're so We've simple. had many a family drama over these nachos. We have. So we're going to start off, and these are so simple. They're not like piled high with a million ingredients. We're just using good quality yes. ingredients, and that's what makes them so, so premium. Good. So we start off, we're gonna, you see we got our little contraption here. We got a big old here. fryer so, here. We got our deep fryer. So if you don't have that, no problem. You can just use like a cast iron skillet, put some oil in there, a Dutch oven, anything that'll handle, you know, some high heat. And a candy thermometer is good, something that you can measure. You wanna get it up to, between 360 three, 350 to 370, we've got ours at 365. Yes. Okay, so now I've just got, these are just some good old yellow corn tortillas. I Yellow is, oh, is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, these are just store-bought yellow corn tortillas. No, no problem there. So what we're going to do is, is we're, we're going to probably do two at a time. We're going to fry these up in batches, yes. and uh, we're going to just stick them just right in there. Slip that right in there. Oh, look at that. And uh, you know, you just got to kind of keep, keep an eye on them and kind of move them around a little bit, so they don't get stuck they, together. And then you're, you're going to want to flip them. Um, this, they don't take long until they get really beautiful yes. crisp. We're not going to be done with them once we fry them. We're going to then put them in the oven. So let me tell you about this right here is beautiful cheese. So again, like I said, quality really matters here. So <laughs> you can get the shredded, bagged kind, but I block cheddar is just there's a it just has a better texture to it once you shred it fresh it's really good so what i do is i get a nice medium sharp cheddar cheese and you can shred it in a couple of ways i get one way is you get out your food processor put on the shredding um piece what is that called the the shredder and then um, <laughs> just put the, the lid on top and then just pulse and press it down until it shreds it beautifully and you get this beautifully shredded if you yeah. don't have a food processor you don't want to do it that way just get out and dig out your old trusty box grater and just shred it on the side of the of the box grater okay yes. so that's great now the other wonderful ingredient this is a well, just a real simple uh, jalapeno relish and all i did is get store-bought pickled jalapenos that you know that you put on your nachos yeah and then i just finely chop them up really really um, nice and fine and you're going to see the way we prepare them it just mellows the peppers and they cook into the nachos beautifully and i think these are done no they're they got to go just they a little do? bit longer okay. yeah they, they, you want to get them just a, a golden brown they're very, very oh very, very close. close very close yeah, yeah we're, we're very close so I we're going to crack them with my tongue uh, just, you don't have to toss turn them every oh, okay. two seconds <laughs> Okay, so we're going to continue doing gonna that, and then when we come back, we'll we'll go into the next step. Yes. Okay. Okay. So those are beautiful. Yes. So you'll know they're Ooh, done. Look at the, that. When they're just like a very just starting to turn golden, but they get a little browner after they sit yes. out. Yes. Yeah. And just we like to put them on a there we paper go. towel, a paper towel, uh, like towel that. A plate that's been lined with paper. Yes. Towel. Just let that excess drain off. Okay. While they're still good and hot like that, yeah. yeah if there's excess oil, just 
drain them, them off over. A bit. Um, there you go. Okay. And then while the while the oil is still nice and hot, uh, hit them with a little bit of salt. I Yay. love to use coarse sea salt just because it's got a little texture to it. Um, but they need to have a little bit of salt added to them. Ooh, okay. Yes. So now, as you see, we've got our baking sheet because we're going to finish these off in the oven. Okay. So these are nachos, and uh, <laughs> so nachos have to have cheese, right? So. Yeah. So does the balloon, <laughs> apparently. Okay. So balloon I don't, and our dogs. As the, I don't like to be skimpy with the cheese. I no. sort of I eyeball this, but I would say I'm doing about a half a cup of cheese per nacho. Really? Now, yeah. I mean, or, or even, I mean, you just want them because as they melt, it just, that's what makes them yes. so incredibly, so good. incredibly good. This right here is that I shredded is eight ounces of cheese. And normally I, I, I often use about eight ounces of cheese, but sometimes, you know, that's probably about right. Okay. So now, yeah, because he eats yeah. uh, a good portion of them. Now, you, so I'm putting the, the, um, pickled peppers right on top of the cheese and they're going to roast in along Ooh, with the cheese. Yes. And it just flavors that Yay, cheese. It mellows them. These are pickled so they're not that hot. They're not ex ex if you were using fresh, um, I would definitely, you know, unless you like them really really hot, <laughs> yeah. make sure you seed them and you get those ribs out of there. Uh, but this just adds a really wonderful wonderful flavor. So flavors. good. Okay. So now we pre <laughs> Oh yeah, we preheated <laughs> our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're just gonna place these in there and let that cheese get completely melted and bubbly, and then they're ready to eat. I can't wait. Yay! <laughs> okay, we're ready. We're ready. It's nacho time. <laughs> it is. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> look Those at that. Great. Just cooked. Oh, to I love that. So, Ooh, I mean, those look hot. <laughs> uh, and delicious. So as you can and see, delicious. like I said, I mean, that was, it seemed like that was a lot of cheese. And Joe T's, when they make them, I mean, they're just layered in cheese. Um, so I'm just going to bring them right oh, over here. Oh, yeah. The, as they sit a little bit, that cheese will continue just to melt. And Oh, uh, how much fun. I know. This is like the real deal. I mean, these are really spectacular um, nachos. I love it. I love it. I love, I love, oops, I love them in their simplicity. Um, oh, I could have used a bigger... A bigger plate. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how many times have we said you're going to need a bigger plate? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Now, do you hit them with any more sea salt, or is that it? No, you don't need to. Okay. They're good to go. I mean, that's why we put a layer on there. <sighs> Ta-da! Ta -da! Joe T. Oh, well, our version of Joe T. Garcia's nachos. Oh, wow. Well, all right. I'm going to dig, dig right in. I am so jealous. Oh, look at that. Those are great. Yeah, let me just move this over here. And I have a feeling they're going to be beautifully crunchy, but we'll find out in just a moment. Well, we'll you know all what? Should it. I bite in or? Yeah, bite into it. I, I, you can handle it. <laughs> yeah, they're crunchy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Salivating. <laughs> would Joe T. I'm be, a Joe T. Garcia. Would Joe T. be proud? Oh, very proud. Mm. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, now, you know, those peppers, like we said, they're kind of mild. Obviously, you can you can also sometimes just to get the essence of the pe pepper, just pour a little bit of the pepper mm. juice on them. Um, mm. But we really, mm. what my what a lot of people in my family do is they love the taste of the peppers, but they're not big pepper eaters. So then once they get it, they scrape the peppers off, but they still got that you know remnants of it. I'd say give me more peppers. Look at that, guys. Look at how nice and crunchy. Look at the cheese. Are they perfectly cooked? Yes. <laughs> I love those so much. I'm literally, I'm sitting in, on the patio, Joe T. Garcia's right now. And I'm saying that these are 100% Luna Proof. Hey, muy bueno. Mm, mm. Is that the right way to say that? Okay. Oh, Very wait. good. I got to grab them. Oh. oh, these are, these bring me back my childhood. Although we still go there like every other day. I, uh, <laughs> mm. I just took a whole bunch of those jalapenos in there, and they're not very hot at all. Oh my gosh, these are so, mm. so good. You guys, there is no better way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Um, you know, crack a Corona <laughs> and- um, Horrible. Have a, uh, <laughs> have a nacho. Wow. Wow, now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. I am in nacho heaven. Yes. <laughs> yes. And go to our social media, like us, share us, please do all that. Um, what are you doing? And I guess give. You're give, not playing along. Oh, that is not those. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm, it's so I natural. I thought you were like, I want some. Get your own nachos. Oh, thanks, everybody. Stay we're going to beat that joke until it's a dead, dead <laughs> yeah. horse. Yeah, stay safe. Stay we love safe. you. Give your family hugs. Bye-bye. And make nachos. Yes. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>